二零一八第二条啦，就系讲渗透作用嘅。今次咧，我哋就想研究一下，将一个水生植物嘅叶啦，摆喺一个高浓度嘅蔗糖溶液嗰处，然后啦就利用光显微镜啦去观察一下啦呢个植物細胞。喺刚刚开始同埋五分钟之后咧，佢个外表上有啲咩嘅转变嘅？咁睇翻左手边呢幅图啦，你见到啦 X 嘅呢个结构，咁有翻好习惯啦，佢系液泡嚟嘅。五分钟之后嘅呢幅图咧，我都想大家睇下啦，有一个好明嘅细胞壁咧，你仍然可以观察得到嘅。而 Part A 咧，正正就问你啦 ，X 呢个结构系咩嚟噶？啊，佢系一个细胞器，而呢个细胞器咧唔染色嘅话咧。系睇佢唔到㗎喎、啊，究竟佢係乜水呀、啊？成条题目就係考我哋认唔认得喺个植物細胞入面嘅細胞器啦。唔單止係串字啦，仲要认下啲位置啦。咁喺植物細胞中间啊，占咗最大嘅位置嘅呢，佢就係液泡啦。咁所以有阵时咧都要识得用文字去描述。喎。Usually located in the c e n t e r of the cells。咁啊，除咗液泡之外啦，其他嘅細胞器呢，你都可以认下个位置啦。例如啦，細胞核呢，喺嗰个植物細胞呢，通常係会俾人逼。埋一边嘅，咁啊，因为成个液泡吸咗水之后咧，佢会占咗较为大嘅位置，就会将个细胞核逼埋咗。相反啦，喺个动物细胞咧，由于佢冇一个咁大嘅液泡啊，咁所以咧，细胞核咧通常就去咗中间嘅。嗱，咁呢个题目啦，仲有啲咩嘅变奏咧？就系、是、问下你液泡嘅功能啦。其中一个咧就系储存。储嘢食啦，无论系葡萄糖啦，无论系矿物盐啦，都可以储住嘅，废物都可以储住嘅。甚或乎啦，我用花呢个例子啦，就帮大家记忆下啦。原来液泡咧都可以储住一啲色素嘅。咁除咗储存之外啦，仲有另一个功能咧就系支撑啦。因为当一个植物細胞吸咗水之后咧，成个液泡就会变得胀卜卜，就令到成个細胞咧变得膨胀，从而就提供一个支撑力啦。跟住去到 part B 咧，就要我哋比较下呢两幅图。就係、是、講兩個可以觀察到嘅改變啦，喺個植物細胞嘅外表上面。呢、这、條、个、題目啦，就係考我哋咧點樣去分析圖像啊、閲讀圖像啦。咁第一個啦，就係細胞膜同埋成個細胞質咧，係脱離咗個細胞壁嘅。咁呢個情況我哋稱之為質壁分離啦。第二個啦，就係葉綠體嘅位置啦。由当初喺周边嘅位置就去咗中间嘅位置啦，而第三个变化呢，就系个液泡缩晒水啦。咁啊当中啦有两样嘢想提大家嘅，第一呢，就系如果下次嘅题目直接走去问你叶绿体嘅位置嘅改变。你就要識得用文字演繹啦。當初呢，佢係喺周邊嘅區域，之後啦，由於成個液泡啦，佢係縮咗水啦，而細胞膜啦，亦都係脱離咗個細胞壁啦，從而啦就將啲葉綠體呢，就濃縮咗去個細胞嘅中間啊，好似將佢圍圈圈咁圍咗入嚟啦。第二樣呢，想提大家嘅就係常見錯誤啦。呢、这個題目嘅理解就係細胞膜、細胞質脱離咗細胞壁，呢、这個狀態叫質壁分離，係我哋眼。见得到嘅，但系如果你走去用软缩去形容呢个細胞嘅外表变化咧，系唔合理嘅，唔成立嘅，因为啦，软缩咧系攞嚟形容个細胞嘅质感，就唔系形容佢嗰啲形状变化、大细变化嘅。你个光学显微镜或者睇呢张图咧，你系感受唔到质感嘅变化嘅。然后啦，去到拍摄啦，就要我哋解释下究竟有啲咩嘅原因系导致到我哋头先所。描述嘅可观察嘅转变呢，其实就系考紧我哋有关于渗透嘅概念啦。有关于渗透英架之前都讲过噶啦，第一步咧就要比较水势。咁啊，当中有一个好重要嘅概念就系一个溶液嘅浓度越高，佢嘅水势就会越低啦。咁所以今次都唔难理解啦。由于我哋今次系用呢个高浓度嘅蔗糖溶液，当我哋要比较蔗糖溶液嘅水势同埋植物細胞入面嘅細胞质嘅水势嘅话咧，系蔗糖溶。嘅水势比起植物細胞入面嘅細胞质嘅水势咧，为之低啦。而第二个想提大家嘅咧，就系有关于呢三隻字啦 ：high 通力、i s o 通力、high 泡通力、高渗、等渗同埋低渗。呢三隻字都有同學會用嘅，但係啦，呢三隻字記緊都係用一個比較嘅形式去出現嘅。高審邊個高過邊個啊？低審。边个低过边个啊？你要搞清搞楚，你比较紧嘅系啲咩嘢？就唔好净系走去讲话啦。蔗糖溶液系高渗唔得，蔗糖溶液比起植物細胞入面嘅細胞质系高渗，即系佢有一个高啲嘅浓度，从而就令佢有一个低啲嘅水势。就算要比较水势，你都唔能够冇咗后面呢一句。
植物細胞的內容啊，即係話你淨係純粹講話蔗糖溶液有一個低啲嘅水勢咯，句號冇意思嘅，你要有翻一個比較嘅意識。去到第二步啦，就要讲下啦。既然有一个水势嘅差别，应该有一个正向嘅水嘅流动啦。咁呢个亦即系渗透啦，系咪？咁究竟啲水系离开咗个植物细胞，定系进入咗个植物细胞呢？而去到最后尾呢，就系讲下成个植物细胞嘅可以观察嘅变化啦。咁所以今次呢，都系讲到明啦，又系啲水呢，有个正向嘅移动喺边度啊？由个细胞去到出面嘅。高浓度蔗糖溶液啦，你唔用 b a r f i n g solution， 用翻呢个高浓度蔗糖溶液都系正確嘅。仲有啲咩嘅字眼可以加埋落去啊 ？Across the differentially permeable membrane， 穿越差异渗透嘅細胞膜啦，系咪？呢啲字有冇印象先？咁但系今次呢条题目咧系唔需要答晒三步嘅，第三步咧你已经系 part B 答咗噶啦。除非个题目改一改，就将 B 同 C 合埋嚟一齐问你，就变成 state and explain 嘅题目啦。就系、是、比较咗两幅图，要你去讲出两个可以观察到嘅改变，同埋解释呢两个可以观察嘅改变。由两分两分变成四分啦，同样概念嘅啫。头两分就系讲下嗰个可以观察嘅改变，而尾两分就系透过渗透嘅答题应假咧。去處理佢啦，又嚟到一點出發啦。今次呢就講水生植物啦，考嘅兩樣嘢啦，滲透啦同埋科學探究。咁啊滲透啦，知濃度同埋水勢嘅關係啦，高滲、等滲、低滲要有比較嘅意識啦。跟住啦，去到科學探究呢，今次就用返顯微照片呢去睇啦，睇下嗰個細胞嘅外表嘅轉變啦。下次可能楞埋啦，如何使用顯微鏡去問你啦？幾時用呢個高倍數？幾時用呢個低倍數？應該使用顯微鏡步骤又会如何呢？跟住啦，我哋细胞变化啦，动物细胞、植物细胞都系一系列嘅字咧，你又要学识嘅。今次呢条题目咧，都好考我哋识唔识拣啲字、哦。头先我哋讲啦，个细胞咧软缩，我系睇唔到嘅，因为佢系个质感嚟嘅。咁呢度啦，都系之前一系列嘅实验片啦，话俾大家听啦。二零一七年，同样第二条都系出渗透。上年就讲食菠萝，今年就讲水生植物，其实都系考翻你渗透三部曲。睇完二零一七年嘅第二条，睇埋二零一八年嘅第二条，你一定明。Do one x question two is about osmosis. We are going to do the scientific investigation on the aquatic plants. So we take the leaf and put it in the concentrated sucrose solution and observe under a light microscope. And then we are going to observe the change of the appearance of the cells at the beginning of the experiment and after five minutes. So you, and in this photo micrograph, you can see the structure X. So have the good practice. X is vacuole, and for the photo micrograph, after five minutes, and you can still see the very distinctive cell wall. Part A, X is an organelle which is invisible without staining. Name this organelle. So you can see that the good practice it really helps you to answer the question. This question asks us to recognize the organelles in the plant cells. So for the vacuole, we describe that the vacuole is usually located in the center of the cells. Therefore, not only for the spelling but also for the positioning of the organelles, you also need to be aware of that. Apart from the vacuole. You can also take a look at the nucleus. The nucleus in the plant cell is different from the nucleus in animal cells. Normally, for the animal cells, the nucleus they are usually located in the center of the cells. However, in the plant cell, because in the center of the cell there is a large vacuole, so the nucleus will be pushed, will be forced to the peripheral region of the cells. And then any possible question variation, it can ask you the function of the vacuole. First of all, is the storage, storage of the food, glucose, minerals, amino acid, and also the waste. And I would like to use the example of the flower to illustrate that the vacuole can also store the pigments to give some color to the plant itself. And the second function is to support because when the plant cell they absorb a large amount of water, the vacuole will become very large and the whole cell will become turgid and provide mechanical support to the plant cell. It is turgidity, right? And for part B, compare the two photo micrographs. State two observable changes in the appearance of the cell after five minutes. 
So this question tests us the critical skills for the diagram analyze. So you can see that the cell membrane, the cytoplasm of the leaf cell has detached from the cell wall. And then we can describe the leaf cells, they are plasmolized. And the second one is the corpus, the position. The corpus, the corpus, they are condensed to the center of the cell because of the vacuo they have shrunk. So for this part, I have two reminders for you guys. If the question asks you that uh, how is the change of the position of the corpus, so originally the corpus are in the peripheral region, and then they are condensed at the center of the cell because the vacuole has shrunk and the cell membrane detached from the cell wall. Make all the corpus going towards the center of the cells. And the second reminder, I would like to talk about the common mistake. The photomicrograph, we can observe that the cell membrane detached from the cell wall and we describe it as the plasmolyze. However, we cannot use the terms flaccid to describe the photomicrograph because the word flaccid is used to describe the texture of the cells and we cannot observe the texture from the photomicrograph. And for part C, explain why the observable changes stated in part B are brought about. So for this question, it's checking us the osmosis scaffolding, the three steps. For the first step, we need to compare the water potential. We need to recall the critical concept. The higher the concentration of the solution, the lower the water potential is. So we need to compare the water potential of the concentrated sucrose solution with the water potential of the cell content. According to this critical concept, we know that the sucrose solution has a lower water potential than the cell content. And for the second concept, I would like to introduce these three terms again, hypertonic, isotonic and hypotonic. These three terms, most of the students, they can recall it and they would like to use it to answer this question. The concentrated sucrose solution is hypertonic, full stop. That's not correct presentation because when we are using these three terms, we are going to compare different solutions. Therefore, we need to present in this way. The concentrated sucrose solution is hypertonic than the cytoplasm of the plant cells. You see that I'm going to do the comparison between the concentrated sucrose solution and the cytoplasm of the plant cells. And for the step two, we need to state the net water movement because we know that there is a water potential difference between the two sides. So there will be a net movement of water molecules by osmosis. What is the direction? And for the step 3, we need to state the result of phenomenon or any observation. So for the step 2, we need to state that there is a net movement of water molecules from the cell content to the bathing solution, that means to the concentrated sucrose solution by osmosis. And you can add one more term across the differentially permeable membrane. Get it? And for the step 3, in this question, you don't need to mention it because you have already answered step 3 in part B. But what if the question combine B and C together to ask you the state and explain question type? Compare the two photomicrographs, state and explain the two observable changes in the plant cell after 5 minutes. So 2 marks for the changes and 2 marks for the osmosis scaffolding. So let's talk about the curriculum mapping. This question starts from the acrotic plant. We put it in the concentrated sucrose solution to study osmosis. And for the scientific investigation, for the osmosis, we have the concentration, water potential, hypotonic, isotonic, hypotonic, these terms. And remember that we are doing comparison between different solutions. And for the scientific investigation, this time we are using the microscope to observe the appearance changes in the cells. So maybe next time it will ask you, how do we use the light microscope? Is it high magnification power or low magnification power? What is the procedure for you to manipulate the microscope? That's something you need to know. And for the changes in the cells, as what we mentioned before, the animal cell, plant cells, we have different terms to describe them. And in this question, because we are using the microscope, therefore we cannot use the terms flaccid to describe it. And, and there are different questions about the investigation we did it before. And in 2017, there was one question about osmosis. For 2018, repeat immediately. You can see that it's really a hot topic. So you see that how necessary you need to learn these three steps scaffolding.